like and subscribe. Shh. Hey, kid, where do you live? I live in a cottage. I live in a cottage. Hey, I live in a cottage. Well, we all live in the same place, so. Bloop, 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 bloop. I live under the water. Bloop, 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 bloop. Me too. Me three, probably. Outer Beach, near you. Ah! The point is, everyone lives somewhere, including wild animals. Do wild animals also have annoying roommates? I heard that! Actually, they do. Huh, wild animals, they're just like us. Who knew? Whoever reads, I live in a tree trunk, which is about to be us, so let's dig in even though they look a little surprised to see us. Did they not know we were coming? How awkward. Oh, 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 oh. Check it out. I feel like we're getting the story before the story. The end papers are full of information. What's going on on this side? Oh, even more. Okay, so if you didn't know this, because I did not know this, these papers that we see right here at the end and right here at the beginning are called the end papers. And they're usually designed in some pretty way for us, but these are chock full of fascinating facts about farm dwellers and house dwellers and burrow dwellers and all the other individuals that are ruggedly alone out there. And over here we have den dwellers and tree dwellers and water dwellers and nest dwellers. And oh boy, it's going to be a job to keep track of all these dwellers. And oh, what is this? Is this some kind of a... Oh no. Oh yes, that looks like some kind of a legal disclaimer. And I know how much you love those. I do not. Oh, but you better read it. Otherwise you might get into trouble with some storytelling organization. Okay, I don't think so, but all right, I'll read it. The story you're about to read is mostly true. Please note, many animals have homes with specific names. For instance, a bower and a dray are both a type of nest. <laughs> We, we knew that, of course, you and I, we're so smart. And some, but not all, porcupines make their dens in trees. I suppose you knew that too. I totally knew that. Uh, additionally, some animals burrow and nest, and this is double duty. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. We know that we're not going to get into some sort of a storyteller jail situation just because we didn't read the legal disclaimer. Okay, here we go. I live in a tree trunk. I live in a barn. I live in a shoebox. I'm down on the farm. Okay, here we go. We have begun with all the animals. Who are all these guys? Well, let's see. Uh, we got a porcupine right here, and this is a llama with all the drama, and a mouse, and this right here is a donkey. I live in a bog. I live in a mound. My place is a burrow hidden in the ground. Are you for sure? I had no clue. Even the little bunny rabbit seems amazed. Mine's a burrow. Mine's a burrow. Mine's a burrow, too. Whoa, look at all of these guys. Oh, please, can you identify all these animals for me? I, I couldn't really tell. Oh, okay. All right, so what do we have here for all you animal lovers? Uh, this guy right here is a, um, yeah, um, he is a, um, just a minute. Okay, let's see if we can identify him. Oh boy, where is he gonna, <gasps> that is a salamander. I can say with authority, Pink Bear. Yeah? That that is a salamander. Oh cool, what about the rest of them? Oh, okay. That guy living in a mound, a gopher. This guy in the burrow, a groundhog. The groundhog. The groundhog, the one that tells us on February 2nd if it's gonna be winter, if it's gonna be spring. But today is his day off. One of his many days off, if you think about it, actually. And he's just chillaxing. And that's our little wascally wabbit. You can always tell by the ears and, of course, the carrot. And everybody here is living in a burrow. The platypus, the penguin, the meerkat. Blop, blop, blop. Honestly, of all the burrows, I am surprised about the penguin. Blop, 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 blop. I live in a hedgerow. I live in a dray. Hey, squirrel, hey, up in the dray. I live in a coral reef. Oh, that's a manatee, also known as the sea cow. Oh, does he moo? Not that I'm aware of. Oh. 
I live on the bay. Yeah, you do, you little sea otter, you. Adorable, guys. I live in a web. Tell me you're impressed. You'll be more impressed if you come over to my place. All right, you. My place is a stable. <laughs> my place is a nest. Are you for sure? I had no clue. <laughs> Mine's a nest. Ooh, ooh. Mine's a nest. Mine's a nest, too. <laughs> yes, for real, Hootie. You live in a nest, and seals live in a nest, and gorillas live in a nest. <laughs> yes, exactly that kind of gorilla. <laughs> I live in a hive and dine out in a flower. I ramble in a bramble. I shower in a bower. I live in a desert. And that's why the cranky camel needs something to be refreshed by. And this rambler in the bramble, uh, that is a pheasant who is quite pleasant. Of course, you know that's a bumblebee. And of course, you know that that's a... What was that again? That is a... Uh, a bower bird in the bower, which makes perfect sense. I live on a ranch. Hey, Mr. Bison. My place is an iceberg. My place <laughs> is a branch. Are you sure? <laughs> I had no clue. <laughs> Mine's a branch. Mine's a branch. Mine's a branch. Sloths, am I right? Oh, so that's what they mean when they say branch out. I live in a riverbed. Oh, and that's just part of the hippo. I live on a bank. Oh, hello, alligator. I lived in a chimney once. I live in a tank. Oh, a raccoon in a chimney. That's one. Yep, yep, yep. I live. In a pigsty, I live in a pen. My place is a dam. My place is a den. So obviously that's a pig and that's a sheep and that's a beaver because beavers make the dams. And this little guy right here, that's the muskrat, which had an entire song in the 70s devoted to muskrat love. Are you for sure? Oh, it was a real song. I had no clue. Mine's a den. Mine's a den. Mine's a den too. Yes, opossum. Dens are pretty awesome, and not just for you, also for foxes and wolves and skunks. Oh my! I live in a coop. I live in a lodge. Like those lodges where people get together to have meetings and hang out. Same word. Different lodge. Okay. I live on a soccer field. Like a soccer field where we play, but a different one? Actually, the same one. Oh. I'm in your garage. A garage? Raccoon, that's fun. I'm out in the yard. I'm out in a shed. When it's time for sleeping, my place is your bed. Herp. Me too. Me three. Me four. It's true. Mine's a bed. Mine's a bed. Mine's a bed, too. Whoa, storyteller! I can't believe that you knew all those animals! Oh, Pink Bear, I need to tell you the truth. The truth? I am not an animalologist, but what I am is... What? A storyteller. Yeah, you are. A professional storyteller. So I knew that when I did not know the names of the animals in the book, I looked at the end papers, which are also at the beginning because they told us everything we needed to know about the bower and the bramble and the muskrat love. It was all in there. So you see, if you get yourself this book right here, I think that you too can become an animalologist and you should probably take it on your next field guide for your very next animal exploration. Yeah.